Welcome to the Crazy Norwegians. So what is the Crazy Norwegian? So the diner was started 25 years ago by a couple of guys whose parents were from Norway. So they named it, it branded, and by the time I purchased it, which was five years ago, the brand was a big part of the Blue Sky or Goodwill. Or, and it's beloved. It's beloved in my community. It's beloved people all over the country come here. So I have been coming to Port Orford. Um, my father bought a place here in the 80s, um, and I started coming here in 84 when I was a sophomore in college. Got very ill in 2014. And when I got better, I changed everything. The market in Portland was super hot and still is, so I was able to sell my home for a lot more money than I thought it was even worth, but it gave me the ability to put a down payment on a business that was already a viable, thriving business. Um, and the rest is history. We're best known for fish and chips. We're a fish and chips hut. I call it the fish hut here. We go through in the summertime up to 600 pounds of cod a week. Um, it's insane. Beautiful place that I live in and I am very proud to say that I employ between 14 and 20 people year round and um, I try to be a good and patient boss. The pies get made here. All of our pies are homemade. We have a choice of six different pies every day. Fridays we make a cake, so Friday's cake day. Locals and regulars know that's Friday's cake day, so they're always looking forward to that. So what do you feel like a responsibility to Port Orford? Absolutely. I um, This diner is a huge part of my community. Uh, it's taken some of the, uh, I guess, the noise from the exterior out because it is very quiet here and I can be away from my business and into a place of silence really quickly. Um, without dealing with traffic, without dealing with a million people. However, a lot of the day-to-day -day business things remain the same as living anywhere else because it's, uh, I run this place by myself and it's a lot. It's a very strange place and I think it's not for everyone. You can't be a big baby and live here. You can't expect your amenities to be flowing like a river because they're not. Um, it, it does get very isolated and very lonely in the dark of winter and, and you know I'm not gonna play that down because it's true. Uh, since I've been coming here for so many decades I can tell you that it's people are always saying it's gonna change, it's gonna change but just geographically we're too far away from major major centers of activity so it's always gonna be in some ways really behind but in other ways really progressive. Um, there's definitely a, a we can fix this or we can do it attitude down here that I think is unfortunately getting so lost in humanity right now is that everybody expects everybody else to get it done when basically you need to learn how to get it done yourself. That's kind of my philosophy.